And the way you come up with it is something called Ampere's Law. And this is a little tricky to explain at this level of physics because it really requires calculus. But let's see if we can make some sense of it. I'm going to show you the full version that we teach in Physics 400A, which is the graduate, which is the senior course in electricity and magnetism. And Ampere's Law is this. Okay. It says the closed loop integral of B is equal to mu naught I. What this becomes when you don't want to deal with path integrals is the following. The summation of B parallel along delta L equals mu naught I. And this is for a closed loop. All right, so let me explain what this means. This parallel just means B along L. This side is how much current is crossing that closed loop. So, for instance, with our long straight wire, if I draw a circle around this thing, a radius r, then the left side of this becomes what? Well, I have to sum b over all these little delta l's as I go around. But if I go around a circle, I know exactly what delta l adds up to be. It adds up to be 2 pi r. The right side says how much current is being intercepted. How much current is being intercepted, in this case, is I. There's only I that's crossing my closed loop. And so we get back to what we already knew. B is mu naught I divided by 2 pi R. All right, what about in the case of the solenoid? Okay, there's the current I. We know that B is going to be pointing up inside this thing. And let's give this path a length L. Okay, the solenoid is L long. Ampere's law says sum the B parallel over delta L, and that's got to be equal to mu naught I. Well, it turns out, if I draw a path that goes right down the center, comes out, completes the rectangle, that is a perfectly valid path. And now I just have to sum B over all those lengths. The one up here, we know, is just B times L. The one on the top is zero, because there's no B field pointing that way. The one out here, is also zero because there is essentially no B field outside the solenoid. And the last one is also zero. Okay. Now, we said that over here, the I is how much current are you intercepting with this loop that you just drew. And I've got one wire going through two, three, four, five wires that are going through my loop. And so, that is n times i. And so now look what this simplifies to. BL equals mu naught n i, or B equals mu naught n divided by L times i, which is exactly what we said a second ago. It's mu naught n times i. These solenoids you can make yourself. Take a tube, right? an old paper towel tube, and wrap a wire around it, and then run some current through, hook it up to a battery. It makes a very strong B field. You can, in fact, pick up small objects with it, little metallic objects you can pick up with your homemade magnet. It's kind of cool.